In this video, we'll learn to calculate with standard form. So we've got 3 times 10 to the power of 4 times 2 times 10 to the power of 3. So we are multiplying these two. You will recall from the laws of indices that we actually add the powers when we multiply. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply first 3 by 2, which is 6, and then we've got times 10 to the power of 4, and 3 is 7. We'll repeat the process, so 4 times 2 is 8, times 10 to the power of 3 and 6 is 9. 5 times 3 is 15 times 10 to the power of 4 and 2 is 6 but we shouldn't stop here remember because this coefficient needs to be between 1 and 10 inclusive of 1 but not inclusive of 10 so we'll write this as 1 0.5 times 10 to the power of 7. Why did I add one more in there? Because 15 times 10 to the power of 6, you can write as 1.5. 1, 1 15 is written as 1.5 times 10. And then we're going to multiply this by 10 to the power of 6. So 1.5 is multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 and another one that is 7. So going uh, so moving on to the so moving on to the next one we've got 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 times 3 times 10 to the power of 6. So multiplying these two first we get 15 times 10 to the power of Negative 3 add 6 gives me 3. Now I'm going to need to write this as 1.5 times 10 to the power of 4. 1.6 times 10 to the power of 4 times 5.83 times 10 to the power of 5. So first of all, 1.6 times 5.83 which is 9.328 so that is less than 10 so we don't need to change that times 10 to the power of 4 and 5 is 9. Now looking at division we've got 3 times 10 to the power of 4 divided by 2 times 10 to the power of 3 we're going to do 3 divided by 2 first, which is 1.5, times 10 to the power of 4 take away 3, which is 1. Looking at the next one, 4 divided by 2 first, which is 2, times 10 to the power of 3 take away 6 gives us negative 3. Now, 5 divided by 3 gives us 1.6 with a 6 recurring, times 10 to the power of 4, take away 2, which gives us 2. 5 divided by 3 again is 1.6, with a 6 recurring, times 10 to the power of negative 3, take away 6, gives us negative 9. 1.6 divided by 5, that gives us 0 0.32 times 10 to the power of 4 take away 7 is negative 3. But then don't forget, we can't leave this like that. We've got to convert it to 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Because at the moment you are going three steps to the left 
Now with this one, with the decimal point being here, means four steps to the left to get to the actual number. So that's why negative four. 8.3 divided by four gives us 2.075 times 10 to the power of negative six. Take away negative two. means we get in negative six add two so imagine being overdraft by six pounds and adding to the account two pounds means that you only then overdraft by four pounds so this is going to be negative four